a visit to Coast General Referral Hospital Ward 7. I am greeted by cries of young children. Mama Lydia Chingo from Taita Taveta is not a happy mother. She has stayed in the hospital long enough, though thankful to God for the successful surgery her child underwent two days ago. I ask what is the problem. I saw the problem is spina bifida. I seek to know the meaning of spina bifida from Dr. Ohanga, a neurosurgeon at the Coast General Referral Hospital. I'm Dr. Ohanga, a neurosurgeon at the Coast General Hospital in Mombasa. And I'd like to talk about spina bifida. A spina bifida is a birth defect that occurs when spinal cord fails to form properly, leaving section of spinal cord and spinal nerves exposed through an opening in the unborn baby's back. Exactly. Uh, doctors don't exactly know what causes uh, spinal bifida. Uh, like many things, it's a, it's a combination of uh, genetic factors and environmental factors. The exact cause of spina bifida, as explained by the neurosurgeon Dr. Okanga, is unknown. But there are elements of hereditary and genetic environmental factors. The study on nutrition also indicates that the insufficient intake of folic acid, a component of vitamin B, in the mother's diet could be a factor in causing spina bifida. To better understand this problem, let's see the first review of the development of spinal cord. In the early fetal years, the tissue that covers the spinal cord closes like a zipper. This typically begins in the middle of spinal cord and closes in the both directions toward the head and towards the bottom of the unborn baby. What happens in spinal bifida is that there is uh, abnormal closure or no closure of, uh, of the neural tube. And so the baby is born either with, uh, with a range of symptoms from maybe a small dimple along the spine, small dimple along the spine or maybe a tough of here. Failure of the neurotube to completely close will result in a neurotube defect. A spina bifida defect is defined depending on the level and extent of the bony opening along the spinal cord. This can help predict the nerve damage that a child may be exposed to. Yes, uh, there are many things that are done to correct uh, spina bifida. One is... All is not lost as the surgery can be done to correct the defect. For the defect itself, for the spinal bifida, the defect itself, usually it is the, the deformity of the back is, is corrected, uh, the, uh, the spinal cord is put back into place, and the nerves that may be tethered or held because of the normal deformity are freed. It should be made more, more public, uh, there should be more awareness about it. I'm weekly for PND, occupational therapist, working at Coast General Hospital. After talking to neurosurgeon Dr. Okanga, he referred me to occupational therapist who deal with condition which affects child's development. Here at the occupational therapy department, we deal with uh, different conditions, especially hydrocephalus and spinal bifida. These conditions affect uh, the child's normal development. The occupational therapist, Mr. Wycliffe Apidi, says the department helped the children with spina bifida defects to achieve proper human development and achieve different milestones that they are not able to perform. They have poor head control, they have poor trunk stability, poor grasp and release, they have lower limb weakness, and here in the department we do our best to train them so that they can achieve. And I asked him, at what point does the occupational therapist come in? And the issues are, we do assessment, clean assessment. But that assessment then will determine the gap, the problem that makes this child not be able to catch up with normal development like other children. We we'll also find out the gap between the reasonable independence of this child and where the child is right now. And that's where we intervene as occupational therapist. The children born with spina bifida and hydrocephalus normally suffer many things. We realize that by the age four months, the child is supposed to be able to, to, to see. To, but with a child, child with spina bifida and hydrocephalus, we realize that these milestones are failed. So what we do is that we train the child using various skills. This is one seven at uh, First General Hospital, where children born of uh, spina bifida and hydrocephalus are admitted and nursed before and after surgery. 
Alphonse Kazungu, father of a child born with spina bifida defects, explains how expensive it is to cater for the treatment of a child. <laughs> The child has undergone two corrective surgeries, but is still needed to go through a third one. Lydia Chengo from Taveta gave birth normally but noticed some defects in a child at the age of two months. The same day she went to the hospital and was referred to Coast General Hospital. On arrival, she was admitted and told to wait. Parents of children born with spina bifida and idosyphilis normally undergo a lot of trauma as caregivers. The capacity is dangerous now. Because these mothers, babies are times heavy. They need a good space. But now you have to keep them two, two in one bed. So no but uh, this mother at times and alene wana skia kama hatumjani. Yet we love them, we need them to take care of these babies until they, they grow up to be what God has destined them to be. I met a Catholic priest, Father Matthew Mbuthia who offers spiritual support to the affected families as he prays with them. Father Matthew Mbudia, I'm a priest, a Catholic priest in the Catholic Church Diocese of Mombasa. I work here at Post General Makadar. Basically, by joining the sick and also the staff. He is not alone. Other men of God are also here to pray for the Almighty God for divine intervention. The problem is real. We normally admit babies or children with spina bifida and hypocameras. Those two conditions are normally congenital abnormalities, whereby the children are born with. So they come here most for surgery intervention. This is another lovely morning. We are here at the Deborah's place, one of the survivors of Spina Bifida. Oni! Ah, Deborah, how are you? Am I welcomed? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Right, right. The next morning, my journey took me to Deborah and Zisa's house. Deborah is a survivor of Spina Bifida and a networking diploma graduate. Hey, my name is Deborah and Zisa, and my condition is Spina Bifida. So, Nilivozaliwa nilikuwa na shimo katika backbone and I went for an operation kama vile wengine wanaendanga and from there my mom noticed that kuna migu ilikuwa haina nguvu so nilikapele kwa potries for more operations za migu after that my mom pia notice, aka notice kuwa nilikuwa na challenge ya haja ndogo na kubwa. I wanted to know the real problems from the horse's mouth, the most challenging thing living with spina bifida. Okay, one, ni kujisusulia. Two, infections. For instance, ukienda cho yenye haijaoshwa, then unafanya ile CIC. Ile environment yenye kwapo unashtukia like you have some infections. Pia sa ingine, ile hiyo tube yenye unatumia inaweza crack so hizo ama kuna time zingine pia weather inakuanga cold so hiyo time unapata like you are unakojwa sana na hapo ndio you need to drink a lot of water huwezi kosa kuna maji juu unajisusulia at her primary school things took a different turn as many pupils feared playing around with her due to uncontrolled urine which came out of her at any time Yes, there was a lot of discrimination because 
No one could play with someone who's smelling Mikojo. During one of her networking classes, she received a good news on employment. 2013, nikaingia MTTI, hapo ndio nilisoma networking Cisco. After there, nika, nikiwa bado ninaendelea kusoma, my best friend, anitwa Zaituni, aka ni connect, imani collective. Deborah is grateful to her employer, who she describes as very understanding and cooperative. Nashukuru, we boys how can we discriminate? I thank God. Pia, uh, aka nichukulia vile niko and she is understanding. Most time, nikienda clinic, ana nipatia ruhusa, hanikatazi. Uh, nikienda pia, sengine, kuna kuanga na spina bifida, like, kuna kuanga na conferences, tunaenda, tunafundishwa, tuna meet youth, wenye wako na spina bifida, ana nipatia ruhusa. When asked about one scenario she cannot forget, a jovial Deborah said, Um, kulikuwa day nilikuwa nimetoka job. <laughs> nilikuwa nimetoka kazidi, so, hapa Omax, teja mshomoroni, nika panda wa mata ile manyanga kubwa. So I was, nikuwa nimeketi hapo, I don't know what happened from nowhere to mboi kanza, like, kukoroga, na nilikuwa nimeshinda poa the whole day kazini and nothing happened. Nikinuka, nitafute toilet somewhere, nikajikupulia, yani ile kuhara, nikahara to evil to me, and it was water. Nikashinda, nikuwa nimevangua light yenye inaonekana. Siezi inuka, nimikiti hapo hapo, and iyo kitu imetoka mbaka inaonesha kwa nguo, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> so I just, nikaka hapo, nika, nika gere kikaja, then ni kanza safari. Nikia ni kwa hapa hapo ni menya masu. Kwa hizi nisha inuka, ni taenda wapi, na nitatafuta cho wapi. And you know, paka, winge kwa hotel, the moment winge kwa hotel, everybody has seen you. No. Na ni town. Tasema wacha tu ni, ni jikaze tu ni fike home. Nika fika tu hapa mlamu. Nika fika time ya kushuka sasa. Eh, nika shindo what, what will happen. Nika fanya tu kusema, like, I'm ignoring everything and... <laughs> I look at it was green in my ukunyu my kulikuni ilikuwa green. I got chukua piki piki ni kapanda ni kakuje ni bofika apa. For real, I cried. And now she has an advice to mothers with children born of spina bifida defect. Mungu ndio ana isaponi. So God if says your child atapona, for real, I promise you atapona. Make sure mtoto wako umempeleka clinic. Sieti umemweka hapo ndani ya nyumba. NHIF card to Deborah is like a godsend. The NHIF card unaona hizi like moving on up and down hapa nyumbani unashtuke ume umegwara umegwara mguu na miguu haina sense. So by the time you realize kidonda imekuwa kubwa na to treat that wound it a lot of money like I remember I had a wound here na ilivoanza Misi kujua. So, as, nilikuwa nimeketi na unatu maji inatoka, maji inatoka, na shindo inatoka api. Kumbe ilikuwa imechimba na ndani. Ilikuwa imekava hapa juu, but ndani ilikuwa inachimba. So, nikaenda hospitali, x-ray, dosa amani. Nikaenda nikaenda x-ray, after x-ray, nikaambua ni operation. Kulazwa. So, hizo zote, we need NHIF card. I also attended the Spina Bifida Day and I sought the opinion of different people to understand the general problems which the affected families undergo. Sana sana hizi ndo wachanga hizi. Utakuta huwa wanakosa tu matumaini sana hasa sasa kuna ile ndoa kufunjika. Ubongo mtoto amezaliwa kichwa kimekuwa kikubwa zaidi mpaka hawezi pitisha kalisi katika njia ya uzazi ya mama. Naenda shuleni na Ikifika katuwa kuteza na nzako na mba, msiteza na uwe watu uwe na mjema, msijaka. Uka mfanya kifukiba ya kafariki. Kwa madina na ito Gladys Koez, hindi programs coordinator, na panda katika shirika la MPD. Bethany Kids, Kijabe, Portrees and Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital have revived hopes of many people living with spina bifida and idocephalus condition. Sasa huwa tumetenga pahali ambapo wanaletu asubui, wanafanyua mazoezi, alafu pia tukuna caregivers, mzazi anenda kujishukulika, huko nyumbani, makitafuta kibarua, alafu tioni, baisa kumu ya nakuja kuchukua.
morality rate among the young people living with spina bifida is rough. The lowest level of life satisfaction is in the areas of romantic relationships, employment, and financial independence. But does Deborah has any plan for Mr. Wright? Do you plan to maybe meet somebody, do a wonderful wedding? Yeah, that is my prayer, that is my wish. So long as someone will understand and Nunyakona Rosafi.